Let us be the thankful people of God who bring their prayers in joy and thanksgiving. Let us pray. Lord, with deep and wondrous thanks, we look upon our lives in awe of all that you have given and all that you have done. And while many people look upon their lives and desire more and want for more and are envious of what others have, Lord, we rest in the satisfaction that your grace is abundant still. And whatever we need, we have. And whatever we will need, your hand will provide. Lord, we rejoice in the blessing that is faith, that strengthens our resolve to, to look to your word to guide us, to encourage one another with the truth of that word as we live it out day by day, celebrating the gospel in so many ways. Lord, we pray in thanks that this testimony has been handed down even to us and to our generation and has been so abundantly distributed as never before that our testimony might be received by, by countless nations, by so many languages, into so many cultures. Lord, help us when our ideas of faith are more about ideas about the way we like to do things than the way you would have things done. Lord, help us in our faith to 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 be humble, and to hear each other's journey. Lord, teach us especially when we disagree with, with those who come to us in their faith, when we struggle to understand their approach to Christ. Lord, help us to listen to them, to forgive what is wrong or what we see to be wrong and to begin our relationships in grace as Christ encounters us to forgive us. Lord, we pray this day for those who have been abandoned in their faith or pushed aside by those who call themselves Christians. Lord, we pray for those who are marginalized because of their identity or because of their culture. Oh, and Lord, forgive us when it has become because of, of race or heritage. Lord, guide your church to be truer to Christ, to love one another, and to set aside the false expectations for one culture to be truer than another. For Lord, we abide in your truth and not in our own understandings alone. So Lord, take what we think we know and show us your truth. Lord, help us this day to be a blessing for those that you have called us to serve, the least of these that surround us each and every day. Help us to love our neighbor, especially that neighbor that comes to mind right now, who we struggle to pray for, who we struggle to love. Help us to love so that we might be an example of love that perhaps they have always needed. Lord, help us to love that we might learn to be that example for ourselves too and follow Christ. Lord, we pray for the church in all our neighboring regions. We pray for the identity of church that is being overtaken by political views. That some see that the church must be left or must be right, must be liberal or must be conservative. Oh, Lord, the church must be Christian. The church must follow Christ. And so, Lord, depoliticize our church, your church. Help us to, to confront each other with our presumptions and our agendas. Let us not be silent when ideas come from somewhere else than Scripture and Compete with the truth of your word and deny it. Oh Lord, we pray this day for the councils and the committees and the assemblies of your church in all of its denominations. Lord, help us in our differences to learn to come together, to help one another and not to assert our own righteousness because the only righteousness that is true comes from you. Oh, Lord, we pray for those who say they lead the church. The ministers, the elders, the deacons, 
those you have commissioned to, to leadership in Sunday schools and in, in mission programs, Lord, we pray for the discernment of their work, that it be continuous, that their education be endless, that their wisdom be always growing, and that their humility be powerful. Lord, we pray for the church that is closing, the congregation that is dispersing, or the congregation that meets only once a year in an appropriate season for the anniversary or the memorial that struggles to be a church even in memory. Oh Lord, we pray for communities that have lost their central identity around that fellowship of faith, that they may reclaim it, rekindle it, and grow in it. That it won't be tied to just a building, but tied to the fellowship and the families and the heritage, but also the future of a shared faith and a lived out love in the gospel in Jesus Christ. Lord, we pray this day for missional churches around the world in far-flung countries, but today especially for the church in Angola and Mozambique. We pray for the, for the small home congregations that are dotted all throughout Islamic countries, praying for Pakistan and its northern regions, and the church that, that's, that struggles to be amongst great persecution and marginalization. Lord, we pray for churches that are in war-torn nations that seek to be sanctuaries and hospitals but are regularly threatened and are targeted by, by weapons of terrible violence. O oh Lord, let them be peace. Let your angels stand forth and perform the miracle of safety and security for those who are just trying to survive an impossibly difficult time as the worst of humanity competes over matter that we're supposed to care for and share. Oh Lord, we pray against war and war over resources and war that destroys this beautiful world that you've created. We pray, Lord, for help and guidance to be better in caring for this earth, to be the stewards you crafted us to be and care for all creation as we should. Lord, we pray for our care for one another and our health care systems that continue to struggle and our workers that are either burnt out or those that are there just to to earn a paycheck and move on. Lord, help us to care again. Help us to see the real needs and the, the hopeful people who, who come seeking care. Lord, let us bring healing into one another's lives and rejoice in, in the abilities that allow us to do that. Lord, we, we, we pray for children who are so excited for the end of the school year that are, are looking at one more month of studies as, as a, a hurdle to overcome. But Lord, let them have joy in all their learning and let them feel inspiration as your Holy Spirit speaks through all the different subjects that they learn. As they learn about studies in, in, in cultures, world cultures or local cultures, immigrant cultures, Lord, as they encounter one another for each other's heritage. Lord, we pray for their learning and the ability to celebrate not only who they are, but who their peers are and what how their communities are made. Lord, we pray for their learning in the intricacies of mathematics as they encounter the, the complexity of how this universe is woven together, whether through physics or, or, or simply the way that you count everything that you've created and know where all things are. And we can stand in awe and wonder of that. Lord, give them and all of us the blessing of our ability to communicate through all the complexity that is different languages, but also in all the way that these languages are meant to speak together. That we are meant to still learn and grow from our differences, from our different points of view, and be your people before you, one in your kingdom, yet so diverse and wondrously made. Lord, help us celebrate the differences that make us, to honor and bless the heritage that has compelled us to be who we are. Lord, 
draw us together in all of this to be your church, to bring honor and glory and praise to you, even as we lift our prayers with the words that Christ Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen.